and we're back so greetings welcome back everyone that was the that was the name of the broadcast little uh take on the uh 1970s and early 80s television show welcome back carter cotter sorry not carter welcome back cotter so we're loud and clear now welcome back welcome back welcome back yeah that that's it that's a good show, and it's funny because it reminds me of Jeffrey Epstein as the uh, as the lovable high school teacher when he was a high school teacher at uh, at Dalton uh, uh, Dalton School in New York City, and there was a character on the show Welcome Back, Cotter, uh, also named Epstein. The one that would go, ooh, ooh, Mr. Cotter, Mr. Cotter, ooh, ooh, when he would want to answer the question. So, yeah, we got tar- ties to William Barr, William Barr's father, and uh, welcome back, Cotter. Because um, this is this is really getting absurd. So let me talk about um, uh, Jessica Collins and what's going on with her. She's in the Virginia Beach correctional facility um and she's you know prisoner of war she was trafficked by uh the united states air force by an employee of the united states air force among others but mostly from him so if you guys look into mk ultra and the prostitution aspect of mk ultra the drugging the mind control operation and how they were you how they have been United States Air Force and other institutions utilizing um I would say high level uh I wouldn't say high level but um escorts that are uh able to be um trafficked to powerful individuals um this is this is what has gone on with Jessica and then we know about her daughter and how uh, the largest um human and drug trafficking operation on the dark web something called Alpha Bay was rolled up now it was run by the government but it was rolled up as a result of the death of her daughter um, talking about Jessica Collins, we've verified all this over and over again, but that she was trafficked by the United States military. And, um, that is verified. Nobody can dispute that the state is disputing other things. The state is, is attempting to deem her to be mentally incompetent, um, it, seemingly in order for for several reasons, uh, including to keep her locked up longer so she will um, not tell her, you know, further tell her story about what's what happened uh, to her. And as retribution. Um, and... So now they are um, attempting to say that she is mentally incompetent. And they gave her a lawyer, and the lawyer um, basically is attempting to um, go along with that, uh, that, that uh, um, agenda that seems to be going on out there and um the the un- unusual thing i was going to say funny <laughs> and ended up saying unny but it's not funny haha but the funny strange thing is is they were attempting to uh question her competency before trial and then they deemed her competent to stand trial and the bar is low for competency when it comes for that to that. But what we know 
beyond what I know beyond a shadow of a doubt and that nobody is is disputing is that is that uh her main handler is a CIA contractor who works for the United States Air Force that's what we know we know that beyond a shadow of a doubt the other things I believe that's the way it is, but it hasn't been verified to me beyond 100% shadow of a doubt. But what we know is she's trafficked by the military. And every place where she's at, Accomack County is NASA, military contractors, and the United States military. And some, you know... uh, you know, uh, locals that have, uh, um, sponged off of that, that, uh, money source, um, you know, that have been there the whole time or, you know, whatever. Yeah. It's pretty insular, uh, Accomack County. It's on the Eastern shore. It's not connected to the rest of the United States. Uh, the it's, it's, um, Got the Chesapeake Bay on one side and the Atlantic Ocean on on the other, so it is it is separate. So it is it is a insular community, and now she's in Virginia Beach, and Virginia Beach is cooperating. Why she's in Virginia Beach, I do not know, but uh, Virginia Beach, that that town would be a quarter of the size it is now without the United States military. So, in any event, they are attempting to say, now, after they convicted her, and after she has, she has, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, done almost all of her time, that she's going to have to be uh, deemed, deemed, um, Mentally incompetent by the state. So if she was mentally, she is mentally incompetent now, and she wasn't at the beginning of the trial, then it would have had to have been the correctional facilities that made her mentally incompetent. Commonwealth of Virginia, Department of Corrections. And if that's not the case, I don't think she's mentally incompetent by the definitions that they, that they are saying, you know, makes one mentally incompetent. Otherwise they found her competent and now believe or or are stating that she's incompetent. So if it's not the department of corrections that made her incompetent, then, then they were not, accurate when they punished her the first time if they believe that she was that she is incompetent then then why are they why did they convict her and wouldn't that make that conviction null and void i don't know uh that's what's going on though and um i'm hoping clifford can come back on uh let's see request to be on the broadcast your viewers. All right. Well, I don't know. Uh, hope, hoping to have some more folks come back on because, um, that's about it for the, for the broadcast. Um, just to reiterate the whole point, why we're back down to, you know, uh, well, we're above zero at this point, but when we got knocked down and and all of our profiles got da- taken down off of Facebook one right after the other right after the other right after the other um it's because we we tell everybody like what what the 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 final step is in all of this is to gain control of the weapons of war and the issuance of currency and nothing else matters it's it's a moot point to discuss politics it's absurd to vote and uh, um, it it, does, it doesn't even really matter about like knowing about things, um, until 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 that that 
threshold is met or that there is a plan to reach that threshold, uh, nothing matters. Um, conjecture, um, the, you know, uh, um, you know, informing the public on, on the internet, nothing else matters and nothing will ever change until, except for get worse. It will get worse. It'll change for the worse, but nothing will ever change for the better until the body of the people. And we've explained who that is. Uh, gains control of the weapons of war and the issuance of currency. And that's why they will promote and not take down folks that are saying a lot of the same things that we're saying. They just won't because it's meaningless. Just like I always said, it's meaningless to protest without a gun. And it's meaningless to, to discuss these issues of politics without plans uh, to for the faction that you support to gain control of the weapons of war and the issuance of currency, because without those things, there is no political power and everything is meaningless. And everyone who doesn't strive for that or have that um, in their hands, that being the weapons of war and the issuance of currency, is is a slave. So we're just going to close it off there. Um, This is Chris Dorsey signing off. Peace and God bless.